Antonio Machado. Has my heart gone to sleep? Have the beehives of my dreams stopped working? The water wheel of my mind run dry? Scoops turning empty, only shadow inside? No, my heart is not asleep. It is awake, wide awake. Not asleep, not dreaming. Its eyes are opened wide, watching distant signals, listening on the rim of vast silence. inspiration is you know the rush of the day the busyness of the day the anxiety one feels when going to bed at night whether you're a child or an adult some nights you're kept awake by worry about what is to come maybe about what has happened so my inspiration is you know, to put everything behind you when you go to bed. Don't let your mind wander into the bad places or, you know, don't fill yourself with worry and those type of things before you go to bed. Give it to God and let it go. You know, let go and let God and don't worry about things that you can't change, especially in that moment. And you will rest better. Because I, I struggle with that. I never used to. I used to be a really good sleeper, an amazing sleeper. And then I had kids. And then I slept very light because I was always, basically, I felt like I was sleeping with one eye open because I was making sure that they were okay. And then I got a lot more rest as they got older, of course. But then, you know, 54, and with menopause comes a lot of hormonal issues. Getting good rest has been a challenge for me for probably the past eight years. And some nights I will go to bed and my mind, I can't even stop it. I was up until two o'clock last night just because I did my best to wind down. For me, it's not worrying about things, but I feel like my mind is just racing. This is the first journal page I have done in years. I don't know, one or two years. So I'm a little rusty at it, but I just found this beautiful image of this beautiful little girl. She had such a peaceful look on her face. Well, plus I already had the page in my book painted black. So it made me think of nighttime. And then the peacefulness of her face made me think, you know, how beautiful she would look on this. Like I said, last night I didn't sleep well, so that's been on my mind. You know, and I thought, oh, how perfect to add the moon and the stars. And on this side, there's these letters and that there's this says collect here. This side is kind of busy. This is stuff from the day. Maybe she's worried about school or something. All these things might be on your mind. And then as you settle into bed, and you know, I've got these houses down here, and I put Z's, like 
people are inside these houses snoring. Moths come out at night. Mushrooms like it dark, you know. So that made me think of night, obviously stars. And then just this beautiful little message from God. My sweet Loretta, rest well. Daybreak will soon come. So basically let it go. Daybreak's coming and you're gonna have to start your day whether you got sleep or not. <laughs> So anyway, that was just the behind the scenes of what I was thinking as I was playing in my journal with Loretta. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it.